Anyway, F Cockapoo, she's an a-hole. Hundred percent done. Mm. Yeah, drop a heart me guys if you're coming in and being nosy. Honestly. I've got no evidence or receipts, but it's Zach. Like, how can you just assume that I've seen your name on WhatsApp? You know? I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> I literally couldn't give a shit about these people. Like, it's not going to make me sleep better at night if I've given someone's address that I just don't care enough to do that. That's literally me as a person. I don't give a fuck enough. They've just made themselves look like massive twats. Again. Again. Oh. He's on live saying you've been arrested. Ooh. I'm literally having... Did you give EQ her address? No. <laughs> EQ will tell her I didn't. If I did, I would say it 100%. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Don't fuck with me. Do you know what I mean? And how did she get my number? Don't know. See, they're just, it's constantly, they'll say one bit of bullshit and then forget. So people will question and be like, well, where did she get the number from then? Or the X, Y, and Z, you know? What was it? She did, and she didn't gift me that morning. I remember because I said to Miss Red, I said, I don't fucking trust her. I don't like her. I think she's a fucking snake. And then she rang me out of nowhere. She rang me like five times and I didn't answer at all. And I was like, what do you want? No, and then I answered. I was like, what do you want? And she was like, X, Y, and Z. And I was like, do you know what? I don't care. And then I just hung up on her and blocked her number. You know? <laughs> then she says a family member lives near EQ's dad. So how have you got EQ's dad's address? It's all a bit weird, isn't it? He's got you as a doll, Zach, with scammer on the T-shirt. Okay, well, absolutely amazing. If you want to be a salad-dodging, jobless loser that makes AI posts, crack on. Isn't it? Oh, my God. It is so funny. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I look gorgeous. He looks like a truffle pig. We're not the same. I mean, like, look at the state of this. One second. Do you want to see a picture of Pigum? Look at the state of this and he's got the nerve to shade me. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is l telling you fucking breathing problems. Look at the state of that. Have a laugh, mate. You think I'm going to listen to that? Fuck off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? In it. Oh, behave yourself. No, no. This is why I don't take these pe people seriously. You know, hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> and now we'll be firing up alive about me for fucking all afternoon. I just don't care. Body shaming isn't a thing that should be returned. What do you mean body shaming? I called him a salad dodger. I didn't call him fat. I said he's overnourished. How you interpret that's not my problem. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless I call someone fat, then call me a fucking body shamer. How you interpret it again is not my problem. Overnourished. Overnourished and underpaid he is. With his Under Armour hat. Looking like a fucking balanite, balanite diagnosis. Overnourished. <laughs> Isn't it? Overnourished. Who's my... Oh, it's all just a bit silly, isn't it? Hi, Daniel. It's all a bit silly. Silly. Silly, silly. <laughs> What's that? I want to see this AI picture. There he has. I find it funny when he addresses me and I'm not even listening. Like, I see clips on the oh, FYP. And love you, gorgeous. <whistles> like it's um, I see picture. I see um, what's it? 
things on the FYP and is addressing me and like I'm I don't know I could be in the bath I ain't listening to it it's like you're talking to yourself hun what you no nah. <laughs> isn't it let me see this AI picture what does it look like Who's that? Oh, it's Alicia. Where have I gone? I find it funny that all these people that are in here all had, um, all had a lot to say. This is like, when I've cut someone off, I cut them off and that's it. Like, there ain't no second chances with me. I'm a Scorpio, innit? Like, it's, if you make a joke about a pedalo's chair and I'm here, I'll never be your friend again, you know? I'd never be your friend again. More for Miss Red. It was only... ...a couple of months ago, wasn't it? When she was like, oh, I'm never gonna talk to him again, it's disgusting. And then she's got the nerve to sit there. Stuff about kids, about her best mate who's sharing a box. As said, Walked around. Sorry. Oh, I thought. <laughs> <coughs> Isn't it? They go on about this, you bullying the health and that, but look at Alex's live now. You know, not even just about me, about people that they don't like. Does that make sense? Like, anybody that don't like, they'll all pack in and all gang up. Do you know what I mean? It's so true. In it, it's crazy. I get called a bully all the time. I'm nowhere near as bad. In it. In it. Like, this whole situation isn't even about me. And I don't even... I can't eat anymore. What did cockapoo say? The thing is, I don't even know, because I don't even watch it. I just see bits of it on the FYP. You know? How I hate lives about me, exactly. Voices pray, keep telling yourself that. Well, come in on your real account, weirdo. Come in on your real account. I've got the, I've got the nerve to, hello Zoe. I've got the nerve to say everything with my face on my own account. I'm not asked. No. It feels like scrapping with fucking toss. Says a land. It feels like scrapping with toddlers. Like they're so. So they are literally irrelevant. And this is what I mean by recite audiences. Red will come off, Alex will go on, and all will go over there for be part four. It's just <laughs> like, I don't get it, you know. Like, you got fucking all these haters that are so outraged by stuff people say and the next minute they're in box battles with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're all so quick to forgive. I couldn't give a shit. Parodies of the baby, for none of them truly really care what anyone named me. Oh, Top Girl, calm down. Calm down, Top Girl. Oh, I'm still a cokehead. Fucking hell, I ain't done it in years. Jesus Christ. See, weaponizing my past addictions against me. I'm shaming people that are on universal credit, apparently. <laughs> okay. See how he manipulates it. What habits do I fund? Yeah. 
Did I steal off somebody? Oh, does she get bands? Oh. Because you, you're all cunts. Apparently, I don't like people who stand out. Oh, lies and slander. Lies and slander. Did I, did I take money off someone with cancer? I don't remember that. Oh. Um. Oh, these comments are hilarious. Areas. They're so thick. <laughs> I never said Top Girl was a cokehead, did I? Cokehead, did I? I never said she's a cokehead. Where do they get this from? When did I say? Can I have the bill, please? Yeah, of course, you won't. No one wants to be my friend. They're nuts. No, I just hate certain women, babe. I hate the cunts. <laughs> I just hate the cunty women. <laughs> yeah, cheers, darling. Thank you, babe. No, I'm good. Thank you, love. Oh, these comments are so funny. Hilarious. <laughs> I don't understand what goes on, you know. It's so funny. How's my... How's my... Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Sharon, my love. I don't even know what's going on today, sis. Just an excuse to gang up on Zach, innit? You know? When did I say Top Girl was a cokehead? When did I say that? I didn't. Oh, now I'm the coke and a drunk. Ooh, they're horrible. <laughs> this is literally just for them to, what's the word? <sighs> what's it? Well, I don't care if you can't watch me. I don't want people watching me here, do I like? It goes for women. Listen, just because you don't say nothing about me, it don't mean I don't like you. <laughs> Top Girl sounds thick as shit, didn't she? <laughs> Eating on my own and I've got no friends. Go and do another 10 lines, she says. Oh. oh. 
a car label, a hotel label on the stand. <laughs> That's true. Listen to the stuff that comes out of their mouth. Listen to the stuff that comes out of their mouth. Horrors. You know, it's tit for tat, isn't it? They're all outraged by stuff that I say, and then they go, oh, go and do finger cockets, go and do this. How does she know that I'm sat here having brunch and going shopping? Come here for lunch before I go and spend my money that I've earned from begging. You know? The jealousy's unreal, isn't it? God, they have a fucking opinion on my giveaways. They have opinions on my giveaways. They have opinions on the stuff I say, you know. But they... Yeah, top girl's working overtime for them child tax credits. She'll be pregnant in another fucking three months. Yeah, money. You know, I may beg on TikTok, but I don't abuse my womb for child tax credits. (laughs) Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they sit there and say, how do you know I ain't got real friends? Because you're literally on a live for 12 hours a day. I don't like none of them. I think you're all awful people. Like, it's mad deflection, isn't it? Like, when they sit there and say, like, oh, he slags this person off. Yeah, because I'm allowed an opinion just as much as these people do. But the difference is I talk about it, like, for 5, 10, 15 minutes. These people are in boxes for hours a day, dragging out fucking... What's the word? Gossip and drama. Like, it's just a load of bollocks. <laughs> Do you not think? Like, it's, it's 24-7. I'm yet to see, like, a live about a conspiracy theory or a live about the current state in Russia and North Korea. Like, they don't know anything about that. It's all just fucking TikTok and creators. You know? <laughs> That's all they waffle on about. It is that pack mentality, isn't it? I swear, like, half of, it, half of them don't even hate, hate me. Half of them don't even hate me because they watch me anyway. Like, they watch me. I don't watch these idiots unless I'm on a live and count two in. But they seem to tell me, like, the more angry they get, the more they slip up because they'll tell me what goes on in my live. They'll tell us about the giveaways we've been doing. Isn't it? Hiya, Lara. Lara, are you in town? Are you in town? Like, these people ain't my friends. I've got no loyalty to them, innit? <laughs> like, if I don't like somebody or that energy, I'll say it. Like, yeah, Top Girl may have not said anything about me, but I don't like her. And I've got an opinion, so I'll give it. Just as much as these idiots do. <laughs> It's fucking hilarious, isn't it? What area am I in, babe? None of your fucking business. I'm in Watford Town Centre. Watford Town Centre. I can't say that. Like, let's, like, these idiots weaponise their gender, their illnesses, all sorts. Like, you can't, you only go for women. Well, maybe these women shouldn't act like cunts, you know? Like, I go for Luke the Judge, I go for Alex, go for Diadro, go for Brummy. Let's not skip the men that I also go for if they've pissed me off or something I don't like, you know? Maybe we, some, some of the women should not be as toxic as they are. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. In it. Stop. Stop making women sound weak and feeble. Like, you sit there and say it only goes for women, but it's all right for Frankie to be in Alex's box and you lot all sit in Alex's box when Frankie's threatening to punch Angie in the face. But that's okay because all of you don't like her, so. Like, make it make sense. Do you understand? You know? Like, all sitting there obsessing over pedalos and who's the wrong ones on the app, but we'll sit in Alex's box when he goes into graphic detail about a pedalo chair. Right, okay, make it make sense. 